wedding speech is such a huge honor, but it can also be extremely terrifying. Absolutely. And wedding speech ghost writer Wendy Dennis joins us today with tips <laughs> to help you avoid those cringeworthy speech moments that send your family and friends <laughs> fleeing to the bar and, and texting their friends and tweeting about it later. Wendy, oh, thank yeah. you so much for My joining pleasure. us. Good morning. This is so cool, first of all, that you've made a career into this. And it's one of those things where we thought, why hasn't this happened sooner? Because it's such a daunting thing to do. There's so much pressure on that moment. So how did this come to be for you, this need? Well, I started doing this a while ago just because for family and friends and, and you know, sort of gratis and uh, found I liked it. And then I saw, and then I was just at one too many weddings where I watched like a horror show. And I decided uh, I'm going to make it my mission to do this. There is clearly a need out there. And uh, I've noticed in the last little while this, a real uptick and I think the reason is because these speeches are going to wind up on YouTube the next yes, day and absolutely. people are suddenly True. becoming more aware of their personal brand and yeah. all of that stuff so that's how. So okay when, when you're going into a wedding setting you have to be careful of people's feelings and that sort of thing because they have things that they want to say but speeches are not something that most of us give every day right so right. we're a little out of practice from primary school. And you say even the best writers out there have trouble actually writing wedding yes. speeches yeah. because it has to come across as a diary as prose. It has to come across from yeah, the, heart. the heart and I and usually the lawyers and and marketing professionals who are professional communicators uh, are, are the people I get the emails or the panic calls from the week before <laughs> because they're the ones who think they can do it uh, because they're used to communicating but this is such a different animal writing a wedding speech because it's a very tight form yeah and you have to hit a lot of different notes in a really short time speaking of so do we so let's take a look at some <laughs> of the pitfalls here's what not to do when writing a speech we're gonna go through those real quick and then of course come up with solutions for everybody watching at home so uh, too much information, or as you say, Adam, it's the TMI, TMI speech. inside yeah, speech. Yeah, the inside jokey thing. The resume oh. speech, nobody wants to know about like every job you've ever been through and all that. The cliche a thon speech, so you go through, you know, Google and what did other people write? Yes. I'm going to say the fortune cookie yeah. thing. And the midnight <laughs> rambler, easy with the drinks. <laughs> Uh, people want to dance. Yes, and want to eat. Sometimes people withhold the food until the speeches are done. So yeah. it's like, come on, let us eat, finish your speech. What are some of the parameters that you always set that go that that this is this is your fail safe? You th this time limit, these things we should cover. What are the things that you normally tell people? Well, first of all, you should aim for 750 words. That's it. And I think most people who are in the process of writing a wedding speech now and have 12 pages are going to really die. <laughs> but, but really, that's what what you should aim for because that's about five minutes so and you, you shouldn't go over that. You say handle humor with care. How? Well, that takes some skill. Um, you know, some people get on a mic and they think they're Louis C.K. This is my moment, right? Yeah. And but you know, Louis C.K. prepares. Yes, know? he does. And so you you're you're not there to be a stand-up comic. <laughs> you're you're there to tell an affectionate story that ha to be affectionate towards the person you're speaking about and maybe tell a a funny story, but not tell a joke. An embarrassing story. It's a right. toast, not a roast. That's right. And remember that there's an audience there yeah. that that didn't experience the thing that you. To experience together, right? Well, yes. I mean, there was one wedding where the uh, groom who had had an affair and left oh. his first marriage and was now marrying the woman with whom he'd had the affair stood up in front of his own children from the first marriage and said, I knew I had to have you from the moment I saw you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's we totally that one in the video. <laughs> See, I'm sweating just like that, hearing yeah. it. Wow. Yeah. You okay. <laughs> I don't know why I'm worried about any of the speeches at my wedding. I'll never talk that. Okay, so Wendy Dennis, thank you so much for coming in. We really appreciate it. For more information, you can head to breakfasttelevision.ca. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's leaving us at a loss for words. Thank you. <laughs>